A murder New Year's Day four years ago inside his hermitage home while police made an arrest. Brandon Saunders family says they're still waiting for justice. Stephanie Langston spoke to the victim's family who is pleading for answers. He shot my brother in the head. It was January 1st, 2020, when police were called to the hermitage home of 33-year-old Brandon Saunders. At the time, we did not know that it was a murder. Nobody really knew the truth, and they had just told the um, police that it was a suicide and that my brother had got out a gun and shot himself in the head. A claim that didn't add up for Brandon's family from the beginning. My brother is left-handed and my brother was shot on the right side of the head. Weeks later, a witness came forward and Brandon's 23-year-old roommate, Eric Marino, was arrested and charged with criminal homicide. We know that he did it. He knows that he did it. But Marino spent little time behind bars with court records showing he posted bond in August of 2020. He's just walking the street and it's been four years and he's just freely gets to live his life like nothing happened. And he robbed that from my brother. My brother doesn't get to live anymore. Leaving Brandon's family, who is hundreds of miles away in Michigan, desperate to move forward. This is not fair to the victim. It's not fair to the families to have to wait this long. We just want closure. We want to move on and heal from this. Um, what we thought we spent the last year healing, we feel like when we do go to trial, it will just have to start all over again. I feel like people are going to start forgetting. And I hope that that doesn't happen. And I hope that they keep you know, pursuing this. And I hope that they just don't think that we're just going to forget about it and that just nothing can happen out of this. And this is just very disheartening and concerning. And how many other families is this happening to? Now, a representative with the district attorney's office points out that no trials happened for a year during COVID. The case was set for trial last February, but the defense counsel has been dealing with medical issues. The trial is now set for September of this year. The DA's office says they understand the family's frustration, but that they are moving as quickly as they can on their end. Mark. All right, Stephanie, thank you so much.